Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Before you get in your car, you know what Christ looks like? Do you know what Christ looks like? The description of Christ. Huh? You do? So do you know where to find him at in the Bible? Because you got to think about it. Look, look, think about this. A lot of our people, they, they gave up this white image of, of Christ, right? And a lot of our people uh, believe in that. That's why that's why our women are all out of order, as well as our men. And that's what that's some of the things that we have to get in order before he returns. Do, do you not believe that we're in the last days? We definitely are. Well, are you trying to find out what we need to do in order to make it into the kingdom? But can you tell me what, what we need to do? Because the, the um, other officer just read for y'all not to break God's Sabbath. Right? You see what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. You know, I, I, I believe, you know, I don't believe in taking advantage of grace, but I know I'm saved by grace. I just want to believe well, what, 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 what does it mean to be saved? Because if you think about it, 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 think about it. If, if we are, or, or if you're saved, is it just you or, or are we going to be saved as a people? Because we didn't get in this situation as a um, by ourselves, individual or whatever. Right. So um, should you be saved or should us as a people be saved? You see what I'm saying? Do you know what it means to really be saved? Let me show you. Let me show you that out of the Bible because our people, look, I came out of the Christian church. I was a Baptist for 43 years. And I thought that I was saved. I thought that I was washed in the blood, so on and so forth. But come to, um, come to find out, that's all lies. That's not what the Bible says. Because ain't nobody ever went and, and it has a pastor ever went and showed you out of the Bible how you're saved and what you're saved from. Because at any time we could get shot down. You got kids? You you have any sons? Okay, if you had a son or a daughter, they run in your house and, and you see what happened to Breonna Taylor? I mean, think about it. They At any time, our people can be put to death. At any time. Watch this. Watch what the Bible says. Read that. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. No, read Luke, Luke 1 and 68. Watch, watch, but let's see what Christ is coming to save us from. Because, like I said, our people, the conditions that we're in, we're at the bottom. You might be doing okay, but uh, as a people, we are at the bottom. We're in the hood right now. And it's all our people over here. Read, watch, let's the book say. of Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Who? Of Israel. The Bible said the Lord God is the God of Israel. Not everybody. Read. For he had visited and redeemed his people. And he said he redeemed his people. That's a possessive pronoun up on top of possessive pronoun. Read. Listen, sis. And had raised up an horn of salvation. That horn, that's talking about Christ, the black Messiah. Not this white guy that you see that, 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 that you see in these churches. Read. For us in the house of his servant David. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. So all of the prophets spoke of Christ. Daniel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, so on and so forth. Watch, read. Which have been since the world Come down, come down. Verse 72 to verse 71, that we should be saved from our enemies. He said that we should be saved from our enemies. Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. Do you know who our enemies are? Do you know who your enemies are? In, anybody that's what? Well, well, see, that's the, and that's the thing that we're taught. We're taught that we're taught that people who look just like us are our enemies. Because I used to think that too, and I'm sure that all of these brothers thought that. But that's not the case. Come around here and talk to me, sir. It's not just us. Huh? Come around here and talk to me. You, you hear what we're saying? She's saying that everybody is her enemies. Come around in front. It's, it's, the, it's the Jews and the, it's the, he came for the Jews and the Gentiles. He came for us all. Do I can't, you, do I can't you? call the enemy just because they got white skin and that's my enemy. I can't do that. I can't do that. The Jew on my wait, side. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't, I didn't mention a white man. No. You said, you said, uh, you, you mentioned white. Why can't why can't I be talking about the Chinese people though? Them too. Them too. Huh? Yeah, them too. See, because you saying the Jews and the Gentiles, what you don't realize is see they, they never went through that history of, of, of with us in the Bible. Uh -huh. Who the Jews and the Gentiles, who they're talking about. Right. Anybody got a Zondaman? Right. 
Right. Anybody got a sign of them? Because our people, we never learned who Gentile, what the word Gentile really meant, or who the Gentiles really were. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about it, right? You got kids? Okay, you have one kid, right? One, one kid, one daughter I'm, I'm taking, right? So would her kids be your kids? No, no, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. So if 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 you told your your uh, daughter to do something and she didn't, you wouldn't punish. And and, and let's say that that your your kids were together, right? right. You wouldn't punish her kid right, for, for what daughter. your daughter didn't do, right. right? Right. So I mean, you and and that's that's the situation that we're in as a people. The Most High gave us certain things that we should do. We right. didn't do it, right. so we're being punished. Watch what the Bible says about Gentiles. And then, because we didn't do what he said, he set people up over us. Right. No, that's true. That's, that's all the book of Jeremiah. Okay, so watch what, watch what the Bible says. It's um, Gentile. Find Gentile. Because, like I say, sis, there was a time when we, you know, we had certain laws that we had to keep. Right. Certain sacrifices. This was in the older time right. that we had to make. Right. Or, or if we didn't do those, we would be pretty much cast out. The most high could stop dealing with us, right. right? Right. He cast us out. And so now we're cast out, we start doing, um, following other customs. Right. You know what oh, I'm saying? Right, right, so right. wouldn't that, if, if we weren't doing God's law right. and following after the customs of other people right. or other nations, would that not make us a Gentile? Huh? Yeah. I mean, think about it. You got it? This is out of it. Compact Bible Dictionary. This is written by a white man who knows what what the um what our history is. Read the right. definition of Gentile. Right. Usually it says usually. Read. It means a non-Israelite people. Usually it means a non-Israelite people. So there's a lot of times that the Bible is talking about the Gentile nations, such as the Edomites. That's what God calls them. That's the white man. The Ammonites. That's the Chinese man. That's what I mean. The um, Japanese man. That's what God calls them. The Moabites, so on and so forth. But usually, or sometimes, it's not talking about them. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you. Give me that in for uh, right. uh, like a Maccabees. But when we were called Gentiles, because, like I said, if we stop keeping God's customs and start going after Gentile ways. Right. Then the most high stopped dealing with us. And 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 if you were going through the history, go and read it. Watch. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6 and verse 6. Bring it out. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep seven days. So this is when the Greeks were in power because you know they, they teach us that the Old Testament is done away with, right? Pretty much, pretty much. That's what's taught in church, because I came up in there. They teach us that the Old Testament is done away with, right? And that the um and, and we're supposed to just deal with the New Testament. But the when when the Old Testament ends with Malachi, right. that's the Persian and Medes captivity. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when we come back in the New Testament, that's the Roman captivity. So what happened in between that? What's that what's where's that time at in between? And yeah, I'm gonna show right. you something. Watch yeah, this. Yeah, it was. This, this, there was a Greek captivity. You have to go to the Apocrypha to find that out. Watch this. Read. This is 2 Maccabees. 2 Maccabees, chapter 6 and verse 6. Listen to this, sir. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. The same thing they're doing now. It's not, it's not lawful for us to keep Sabbath day because today is the Lord's Sabbath. And they tell us that Sunday is, is, the, uh, is the day to go to church. Read. Or ancient feasts. Or ancient feasts. We just had a new moon. You see what I'm saying? That was an ancient feast of the Lord. But yeah. our people don't keep that. Yeah. We keep Christmas. Read. Right. Right. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. He says it was unlawful to profess himself at all to be a Jew. This was when the Greeks came into power. Drop down. Verse 9. It says that it was unlawful for him to, for a Jew to profess himself to, at all to be a Jew. So now instead of calling myself an uh, um, Israelite from the tribe of Judah, I'm going to say I'm an African American. Watch, read. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. It, it, it says whoso would not 
conform themselves or act after the manner of the Gentiles, read, shall be put to death. They were putting us to death, sis. So that's why when you come into the into the Roman captivity, right. which they, they never taught you about the Greek captivity, mm -hmm. that's why when Paul is talking about there's neither Jew nor Greek, so on and so forth, mm -hmm. that, um, get, get, get Acts uh, 19 and 20, I think, I think that's what it is. That's why when, when it goes into the New Testament, when they talk about there's neither Jew nor Greek, uh -huh. we think that it's talking about all nations. But why didn't they say there's neither Jew nor um, Moab? Or, or, or Greek nor Moab or, or name other nations. Why don't they name those two? You gotta think about that. Because we had just came out of the Greek captivity, went into the Roman captivity. The Greeks are white, or so-called white people, right? The Romans are so-called white people, they're the same people. Their forefather is Esau. Right, right. They are the same people. Right. And they follow the same thing. So now they you know, a, a couple of, a few years back, before we got into the Roman captivity, they were killing us for calling ourselves Jews. Now we say we're Gentiles or Greeks. You see what I'm saying? Read that. I think it's Acts 19 and 20. Yeah. Acts Okay, yeah, 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 21. The book of Acts, chapter 21, verse 21. And they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses. It says the Jews which are among the Gentiles. Right, right, right. So that's what that was your um your 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 Jews amongst other Jews that amongst the Jews that were keeping the laws, which was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, amongst other Jews that weren't keeping the laws that was um acting in Gentile ways. You see what I'm saying? Read it again. And they are informed of thee that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles. Yeah, yeah, get Matthew 4, 15, yeah. Exactly, watch, watch, because that's, some, that's something um, that we're not taught. You know, and, and a lot of this is in the New Testament, but we don't know what what that history is. Right. And we never learn that history. Right. So now when, when it mentions that Gentiles or Greeks or so on and so forth, we thinking that the Most High is talking to other nations. But I can show you, we're going to show you if you stay, that the Most High has never dealt with any other nation. He's only dealt. Okay, well, listen to this before you go. Listen to this before you go. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 15. The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtalim. By so, the way. Look, 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 look. It said the land of Zebulun. You see Zebulun on there? Yeah, Guatemala. That's Guatemala, right? The sand, and the land of Naphtali. What's Naphtali? At the bottom. Okay. Now, Valley, right, Argentina right. and Chile, right? Uh -huh. So this is talking about two Israelite, Israelite nations, right? Watch, read it again. The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. It said Galilee of the Gentiles. You see what I'm saying? Because that's that history that you don't know about. We weren't taught that there was in, in the time after um, King Solomon, there was a split in the kingdoms, right? So you had 10 tribes that went this way and three tribes that stayed in the, in, well, it was two tribes, and then the third one came, which was Levi, that stayed in the land in Jerusalem, in, in the city, and they kept sacrificing and doing what God said to do. But the other nations, I mean, the other tribes, they went off, you know what I'm saying? And so now they, they weren't sacrificing and doing the things that it took in order to get salvation or whatever or to keep the most high dealing with them so they was cut off you know what i'm saying and if you got like i said if you have time get um yeah yeah you get that but if you have time i can show you that the most high you know he stopped dealing with us because because of that read that the book of first corinthians chapter 12 verse 2 ye know that ye were gentiles yeah. He says, this is Paul, right? Paul was very educated. He said that ye know that ye were. That means at, um, at one time, you know, you, you come back, but at one time you was acting as a Gentile. Read. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols. So they were um, in idolatry, you know what I'm saying? So what's your name? Christina. Look, did you get a flight? You do? You should you should really look us up, man, because our there's a lot of history that our people don't know. I just subscribe to YouTube. Hey, let me ask you this. You you told me that we're in the last days, right? You see what's going on, right? Have you really thought about it? 
I mean, have you really thought about it? Because this, you know, when, when, right now we have an opportunity to repent. You know what I'm saying? Right now we have an opportunity to repent. But once Christ comes back, it's going to be too late. And there's a lot of things that you're doing. There's a lot of things that you're doing that you're in sin on that you have to correct before Christ gets. You have to correct and you have to repent and turn from. Watch, watch, because our people, hey, hey, sis, watch, listen to this too. I understand. Okay, okay, well, listen to this while you walk, walk away. Watch. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It says the woman should not wear what pertaineth. These are laws that we, our women, have to keep. Just like we had, had to keep the law of our beard because when we came in and found out who we were, a lot of us shaved our beard because that's what we were taught. We were acting as Gentiles. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It says, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Because if I was up here in the dress, would you have approached and came and, and held a conversation with me? It, it depends. Well, I'm going to tell you, if I see a man in the dress, I don't have nothing. I'm, I'm going to have some rebuke for him, and that's it. Period, point blank. All right? The Lord, you the dope, you know, the Lord can make the rocks burn. I don't, I don't so that, that's what we were taught, but the most high. What? That don't make it right. I'm not saying that don't make it right. We okay. all can say. Oh, I'm going to finish not, this and I'm going to show you something. Sin. Because you're, what, what, you're saying, what you're saying is not according to what the scripture says. It is. Finish that up. It is. For all that do so are an abomination. Unto the Lord thy God. The Most High says that if you wearing, if a woman is wearing pants or a man is wearing a dress, it is an abomination unto him. Right. You see what I'm saying? So get Jeremiah 44. Um, what was the purpose of him dying if not this? Huh? What was the purpose of him dying? It, it, it wasn't so that you could could go and do whatever you wanted to right. do it until he comes back. No, it was to give you the purpose of Christ dying was because some of the things that we were doing required death, a blood sacrifice. It took it required right, our right, blood. Right, right, like right. if I was to commit adultery. Right. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no sacrifice for that. Right. If I was into witchcraft. Right. Things that our people do every day. Right. We wouldn't have if we were breaking the Sabbath. Right. We wouldn't have no sacrifice for that. Read That's that. Right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 4. This is how the Lord feels about abomination. Watch. How be it? I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets. And that's what you see now. We're out here speaking to you, right? Read. Rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. So the Most High hates you being abominable to him. You know what I'm saying? Now, you said that, um, they got it oh, that 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 forget John nine thirty one. That, that, that the Most High would deal would would be dealing with someone if, if uh, with a man if he was in a dress. That's not true. That's not according. The Bible does doesn't. Second John nine. Okay, get Second John nine. There you go. Get Second John nine. All right. I know you gotta go. I know you have to go. But hey, you got you're not getting this on on when you go to church on Sunday. They're, they're not they're not speaking. You like this, no, that's why they I not the you. We have to. That's the thing about our people. We are rebellious, and 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 we're into all kinds of different things that's against what God says, right. and we have to be corrected. Right. Now so it's I good gotta, that you're I, humble I, enough to listen. I am, and I'm not being rebellious. I got you know, but I have to steward my daughter properly. I can't. This is not safe. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Listen to this last, this last scripture. The book of Second John, verse nine: Whosoever transgresseth and abideth. Not in the doctrine of Christ, had not God. So it says, whoever does not abide in the doctrine of Christ has not God. What's that? The, What's that? The, Second, Second John, John verse 9. Second John verse 9. So if you're not listening to what the Bible says, right. you don't have God. You know what I'm saying? And, and like I say, we go into these churches on Sunday, we're not being taught that. These religions were made up by Man, they were man-made. What, 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 which religion are you? I do not claim a religion. You do not claim a religion. So, if you don't, I mean, to to say that you do not claim a religion means that you you still got the white man in your head. That's fine. You understand? Because all of the the way that we're the way that everything that we know and every thought that we have in our head it comes from them. You know what I'm saying? 
That's fine. Unless we, un, un, until we go back to this Bible, find out who we are and how we should walk, that's what we're doing. We're doing what, we, what we're taught. You know what I'm saying? Right. They got the, the, the school the system is set up by them. The religious institutions are set up by them. They are. So every time you go into a church on Sunday, you're listening to the doctrine of the white man, for real. while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.